Hello everyone. Today is um Saturday, November 21st, 2020. Um So, how is everyone? How y'all doing? It's um 6:20 a.m. and um a few more days is Thanksgiving. But as I said in the video before, that um, as I said in the video before, that um, yesterday one of those videos I said that um, you know I'm not gonna have anywhere to go or anywhere to exist really. Um, so. Yesterday afternoon, I was somewhat still working a little more on my book talking about homelessness experiences. And um, so, you know, I had a, bit, a little bit of harassment last night. But then at one point, I think it was around two something in the morning, they vibrated me really bad for a few minutes. But, um, I think I was able to get a little bit of sleep, but I don't know how much, but I definitely had a little bit of, at least a little bit of sleep, but I didn't sleep as good as I thought I was going to get to sleep. So, um, and I, and, and they were forced urinating me and trying to force diarrhea me. Um, but they forced urinating me at least four times and like for me to have to wake up out my sleep and then have to just run and getting some pee on myself as I'm running having a hard time trying to hold it in because it's so forced out um and I hate um the idea I hate um you know whatever you're going through with the electronic harassment, people act like they don't believe you, and they want to blame it on, they think that they can diagnose you with certain health problems, oh, you have the pee frequent urination, oh yeah, so you're diabetic, it, it would be more consistent if I was diabetic, if I really had diarrhea as an illness, it would be more consistent, you, you get what I mean, it wouldn't be just random off and on whenever they feel like it, um, now, if I have diarrhea uh, four times in one night and then for three more weeks, no diarrhea at all. The, the diarrhea as an illness does not work like that. That's what I'm trying to tell everybody. So, you know, the frequent urination, they might be like, well, um, just, uh, oh, you, you have frequent urination because you're diabetic. You get your sleep deprivation, you can't sleep because you're stressed out and you're suffering anxiety. You have this because you're suffering this. Or you um you have swollen legs, you need to take water pills. You got um you know, you got diarrhea, that's because you are dehydrated and need to drink more water. I've been drinking quite a bit of water. So, um, you know, they it's it's like they try to discredit and y'all say y'all targeted too <clears throat> excuse me y'all doing like what the perp doctors do <laughs> um because I, I didn't know that the GERD symptoms were considered as um electronic harassment too I didn't know that you know I thought it was a diet issue because they have moments where I can eat just nothing but healthy all day for two weeks and still suffering like I mean, even taking the apple cider vinegar and doing this and doing that, whatever, to try to combat, and it still won't work. So, um, I didn't realize they said that, um, GERD symptoms would, um, you know, be part of the, um, electronic harassment as well, like acid reflux and heartburn. So, um, wow, that, that go that nosy man. So, um, 
Oh, hello. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so, anyway, so with the, um, with the e electronic harassment and stuff, um, you know, like back in April, you know, Janet chose the date of the number that I don't like. Because it was the day after we got our um, stimulus check. And she was ex all excited and freaking rented a car and was anxious to go down to Miami. And I still, maybe she had more connections and a bigger network in Miami. And that might have been why she sent me down there. I'm like, well, whatever big street theater incident, why she couldn't have that happen here in Pensacola? And she went as far as renting the car with the stimulus money because she was freaking out um, and throwing tantrums because um, her narcissistic husband was um, manipulating her with the money for, and she needed money for food for her and her kids. I mean, well, her, I meant to say her son. She only had one child. And um, she she um. So then, the guy was shocked and surprised that she, like, why the hell if I gave her three hundred dollars, and then like where she get the money to to go rent a car, the damn stimulus money. So he was shocked and surprised and upset and all jealous and everything because she rented um a a car. And she tried to push me up to, you know, because I told her, she, you know, took advantage of me being desperate to want to drive. I'm an adult and I'm 37 years old. I should have my own job, car, and house, and whatever. I shouldn't have to be living like this. And the self-righteous, narcissistic, fake Christians want to bully, harass, and lecture me. And they pervert the, um, be content with what you have and falsely accuse me of being covetous. When I was supposed to have been entitled, yes, the foster mom took thousands of dollars away from me and also biological and other family members had um, stolen and robbed me of my of what I was entitled to, what was mine that they robbed me out of. So I don't want to even hear anything about me being entitled or acting entitled or anything when my entitlements that were rightfully belong for me belong to me were robbed stolen so you know i mean even for me to simply want to work my own job is blocked i'm blocked from that you know um and then you know with this targeting harley i almost want to say nobody but it feels like nobody but i'll say very few people want to most people don't want you to you know, get out of your situation. They think y'all should be kept low. <clears throat> and, um, well, I was saying that that man, that nosy man, I'm not saying he ain't got a right to sit on his porch, but when when I'm doing, walk outside and I'm doing videos and I pass by his house, it's like he's there to freaking sit outside and listen. I mean, I, I was suspicious because I guess that was his son that has the white car with the one that had one tail light. So this man, when I'm doing videos, he come out and listen in. He's already sitting there before I turn the corner and he'll um, listen in. But when I'm not doing any videos, you know, he's not sitting outside, you know. So anyway, back to my story. So Janet took a day that I don't like. And, um, because I have a thing with numbers. And I didn't tell her my weaknesses or my thing with numbers. But it's like, you know, the perps psychic, are psychic and know all your all your weaknesses and everything that triggers you without you even having to tell them. Probably because of the so-called profile put on you. And so she chose April 16th. I even hate to utter, I hate to utter or even say that number. Um, <clears throat> to have me go drive, and <clears throat> it, the brand new Malibu, it wasn't brand new, but it was kind of new, Malibu, and it had a funny smell, um, 
when they called themselves disinfectant for coronavirus, the car had a, like a, a, like a, I don't, it didn't like the, I didn't, I mean, the, the strange chemical smell. So, um, so then when I went to go drive, um, I don't even know if Janet herself, oh, they had a lot of perps around, like the, this white um, GMC SUV that's kind of small, um, with gang stock and be ready outside when I'm coming downstairs, and then they would have a whole bunch of people just swarming me like bees in that complex that, that they know damn well they don't live there, and then Janet's neighbors below me were perps, and it was always, um, it was like the guy was black and the um and the female was white and it's like the guy was beating the woman and the kids so um like so um i think one of the brothers was living with them like the the girl's brother was living with them so um so much chaos and dysfunction in that house and then other houses was a lot of noise and then they waited till after me and Janet got back to start blaring loud music every night after we got back from Miami and um so you know Janet when she took me to go drive I only had three hours of sleep that night, and I said as much as I want to drive, but I said I didn't want to quite yet because I only had three hours of sleep the night before. And so when I got in the car and started to drive, my leg was automatically, um, the right leg, where, you know, you press on the pedal. That doesn't happen when I drive, any other time when I drive. Um... So when I tried to go and drive, um, my leg was involuntar involuntar uh, involuntarily and uncontrollably shaking the whole time I went to try to drive. And so I uh, went, I was so scared when after that started happening that I didn't even get us outside of the complex to go drive. And I didn't even feel right, so I went and parked the car back. And next thing you know, my leg wasn't shaking anymore once I got out the car. So people would falsely interpret that as just freaking me being nervous, you know. But, no, I'm, I'm just in other talk, so-called target individuals acting like they didn't believe me when I said that I had to have been hit with the energy weapons on purpose to prevent, you know, prevent me from driving, even on a day I don't like. And, and a new car and stuff, you know, it's just a Chevy Malibu. But, um... That car, the, that car wasn't as comfortable as the Lincoln Town car, but the Lincoln Town car was older. <sighs> Excuse me, but I hated that um, the Lincoln Town car, you know, it moves slow. And the Malibu, of course, it drives fast, you know. So I like fast riding. I don't like slow. Because when I was the cab driver, <laughs> the, uh, the cab cars, like the Ford Crown Victoria, the Police Interceptor, and the other one the uh, Mercury Grand Marquis, you know, they move slow like that Lincoln, you know, but I never drove the Lincoln, but Janet asked me which one I wanted to choose, the Lincoln or the Malibu, and I went for the newer, <laughs> not the fancy luxury, <laughs> but I guess that could have been my opportunity to to, to drive a doggone, because I never in my life got to drive a luxury car, a luxury vehicle, fact about me, Candy Grand Prix never got to drive a luxury car. Or, uh, you know, I never got to drive a luxury, a luxury vehicle. The closest to luxury I ever got to drive was test driving the, um, the expedition, the 2018 expedition. I love that. <laughs> and I like driving the Ford Escape. It was fun too when I rented the car, but I drove the Ford Fiesta when I rented it a while back. I freaking hate a Ford Fiesta. Can't stand it. Um, the pedals feel weird, like a 2002 Dodge Caravan and certain Chevy vehicles. I don't like the way they, they feel uncomfortable. So, um, I like driving the Ford Escape and the, um, Ford Expedition. And, and also in 2005, before Hurricane Katrina, yeah, my family took advantage of showing off me in the, P, the Chrysler PT Cruiser convertible. 
and I wanted to rent not the PT Cruiser, but I wanted to rent a Jeep, a Jeep Liberty because it was an SU, a new SUV at the time, and that retard Ramona, the biological sister Ramona, got mad and threw a fit and act like as if I'm supposed to rent a car specifically for her, and she used the shit out of me and took advantage of me, you know, with renting the cars. <clears throat> just to show for her around and she didn't care how much money was wasted and I was young and I was I, I was young and didn't know the agendas I didn't know the truth and I was like on those medicines and I was scared you know frightened of frightened of her frightened of other you know abusive bully family members and stuff because see Ramona's too lazy to freaking want to learn how to drive her damn self you know, so she thinks that she can control people by have everybody do everything for her and she's freaking lazy you know, but then she'll project and lie and say, I'm lazy or other people are lazy. And she thinks she can talk bad about people. But anyway, you know, um, all these opportunities in life. Um, I want to say that, um, you know, Janet, what she did was on a seven, like, I guess Janet acted like a, a perp the whole time she had the Malibu in her possession and then the next morning after she turned in the Malibu when she acted like a narcissistic abuser and a perp at the same time and was just not acting herself like as if it was some damn spirit behind that car and then after that she um you know sorry fighting out unwanted thoughts um but I try to be careful because I didn't want to accidentally blur them out and then y'all look at me funny so, um, and also Janet did stuff like drive. I, I, I mean, she would sing all my favorite songs on purpose to make me mad without me even saying, well, this is my favorite song. But then songs that she played or songs that I, that I tried to play that I didn't care about. She, oh, she knew exactly what to sing on purpose with, just to make me mad. She knew what to sing. She knew what not to sing. <clears throat> and, um, and she was blaring super loud music the whole a lot of the almost the whole ride and stuff um riding all the way down to miami and um i don't i don't even know it's like in so on august the night between the 17th and 18th after the street theater situation happened i ended up sleeping like a baby that night and i felt confident enough that i can go drive again so then she treated me like she didn't trust me to drive it was like no 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 and then try to tell me, um, you know, basically th that, um, y you know, I, I knew I knew that I was going to get to drive unless they would hit me with energy weapons again. But I knew that I, you know, was confident enough that I can go drive, do a little bit better driving. And she tried to say that even in local neighborhoods in Miami, which has little to no traffic, she tried to falsely convinced me that it's dangerous and I can get hit and stuff she was just trying to say a whole bunch of bu bullshit like full of shit and it's like I felt bad or upset to even go to Miami because well the only good thing was me going to Aldi Trader Joe's and Whole Foods was the only positive thing or the only thing that I appreciated going there but other than that you know she had me waste my stimulus check money going out there and then buy up all this food and then wait till after all the food is bought for the month and me trying to stock up and stuff then she kicked me out and put me in the hotel you know because she believed that fake coronavirus bullshit you know so anyway you know she acted like a, a narcissistic perp the whole time she the car was in her possession and then afterwards she um <clears throat> ended up you know after the, she turned the car and she was back to her normal self but you know I miss having my own car and driving and miss having sleep in a normal life. Other, a lot of other targeted individuals don't care about driving. Um, they don't, they don't care about driving. And, um, you know, you know, I, I guess the perps harass you to make sure they end up manipulating you into hating driving ever again. Like if you used to love and enjoy birthdays, they make your birthday miserable every year on purpose to make you hate birthdays. You know, if you're cute and good looking, they attack you with electronic weapons so bad that they make turn you ugly. That they deliberately and on purpose turn you to be ugly and unrecognizable. Um, that you look like a whole different whole race of person 
um, change your skin color, your eyes, burn you off, just destroy you pretty much and have you looking like, like, I mean, they can have the capability of making you look like the zombie from, the Michael Jackson zombie from Thriller. If you, I mean, I, I mean, they cook your organs like they were, you know, vibrating. They were cooking me last night, you know. They, I didn't feel heat, but, you know, it's like sometimes, you know, when your body, when you they vibrate your body, you feel like you're boiling. I mean, it's like, it feels like it's, I'm boiling without the heat. But I get the electronic harassment worse when I have a roof over my head, when I have a place to live. So I'm surprised that they must be really mad at me to have me vibrating and I'm outside homeless because they didn't do this for at least two years for a long time, probably longer than that, that I get no vibrating when I'm outside. And now that I'm outside and they have me vibrating, you know, on purpose to make sure I don't get to go to sleep. They don't want, forget driving, they don't want me to function because with the sleep deprivation, you know, I can't, it's dangerous to eat while I'm sleep deprived because I can choke and I have nearly choked, um, choked and, and then, you know, when I'm sleep deprived, people treat me even worse because they think I'm, they think I'm act like I'm slow and retarded, you know, and they exploit and take advantage of me acting quote unquote slow and retarded, you know, and, um. And, and when I'm sleep deprived and they treat me like I'm slow and retarded, I guess it's easier for them to gaslight me and play all kinds of games, you know. It's dangerous and scary, you know, to be sleep deprived. But I'm still feeling the effects of the deprivation. And it ha- takes a toll on your heart. The fact that that doctor said that um, me being sleep deprived, that my heart was slightly larger than normal. And I'm like, well, why would my heart be, uh, you know, larger than normal? I already had heart murmur when I was two, and I had two strokes when I was five. So um, that man saying that my heart, the doctor saying my heart was slightly larger than normal. In 2017, I kept ended up ending up in the hospital because, you know, they hit me with the electronic weapons so bad. So bad. And... They think that shit is funny. According to them, that's funny. You know, to to remotely manipulate you into, you know, having all these involuntary bodily functions so people can can think, you know, something's wrong with you. Or they think you purposely peeing on yourself. Or they think you're, like, incapable or mentally unstable that you can't hold your bladder and stuff like that. or, Or you can't hold your bodily functions. But it's not you. It's, um, you know, it's them. But at least I cleaned up myself at my earliest convenience. I cleaned up after myself. You know, um, I really hate that they think this is funny to um, destroy people, destroy other human beings like this. And I thought it was just me. And they did. When I was living in Greenville, South Carolina, they used to heat up my body. And, um... Uh, even in 2008, I was hit with the electronic weapons and didn't realize what was going on. And I was on those psych medications. Um, I was on those psych medications and did not realize they were hitting me with the energy weapons. I didn't know what was going on. And I had, of course, a lot of vertigo and dizziness. And I'm still suffering from vertigo. As of, as of last night, still having vertigo and dizziness. Um, so I think my storage space is going to run out soon. I didn't even have the warning, but I'm going to go now. So, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to, you know, be doing a few videos here and there. But before I go, I want to mention that, you know, when I show the evidence of my gang stalking, it seems like I get like 18 or 19 views lately for the past couple of weeks. If I show the gang stalking experiences, I get less views. But when I'm talking, I get like over, I get like 50 or higher when I have my little talks or whatever. Like this talk, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get, um... A higher amount of views but on the um when I talk on the um you know when I show that you know a gang stalk like three red cars or something I get three thumbs down within less than six minutes and uh five views and I'm like damn who's hating me like that 
and 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 when I'm showing my proof, when I'm showing my proof, um, you know, I keep showing my proof to identify with other targets and show them that I'm real. And then also I I, I keep doc 